Hi, this is uh, Jijo. What we're going to do is the CAT 2018 slot one LRDI question. Uh, this is on square matrix. Uh, this is a number puzzle question. It has got a t t uh, uh, square. We have to fill in numbers. In these kind of questions, what would you will probably will have to take that initial period of time, time to make sense of what is going on, how the, how 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 you play around with the numbers, and that one or two minutes would be very crucial. Uh, and then once you get the fundamental, basic underlying logic that you can work with, then these questions will not be that difficult. But 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 you'll have to invest that initial two to three minutes time and figure out what is the underlying logic that's uh, would be a requirement of all questions which is got uh, uh, which is based on numbers a number puzzle and here the story is you are given n by n square matrix to be filled with numerals uh, so that no two adjacent cells have the same numeral two cells are called adjacent if they touch each other horizontally vertically or diagonally so as uh, uh, so in a cell of one of the four corners has three ad cells adjacent to it cell in the first and last row or column which uh, which is not the corner has five adjacent to it and any other cell has got eight cells adjacent to it now to just to uh, kind of understand what's going on the first question anyway asking us to do something with 3 by 3 matrix so if i look at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 take a 3 by 3 matrix and if you look at uh, this uh, per cell uh, block there and there will be one two three of them adjacent to it and if you take uh, this uh, cell block there you will see that there will be one two three four uh, five adjacent to it and if you have uh, this uh, block here we'll have one two three four five six seven eight adjacent to it and and what whatever this everything has to be a value which is uh, different right it says that uh, uh, it says that uh, no two adjacent cells have the same numeral. So this has to be different from this. Uh, this has to be different from this. 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 So immediately you see that whatever is the value that you put here, it that is that is unique value. You cannot put it anywhere else. That's one of the things that you will uh, eventually understand. So so that is that one value that you will require. So if I, for example, if put one here, then one is gone. We cannot put one anywhere else. Another thing that you understand is if you take any block of four four block so whatever is the numeral that is going to write here let's say we write two th th then this 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 has to be different so you you are now forced to write a two and a three and a four a in in some order or other you're kind of forced to do that right so the bare minimum that you you're going to get to uh four that is for sure right now let's look at uh uh, what's the first question that is asking what is the minimum number of uh, different numerals need to fill in a 3 by 3 matrix so we have a 3 by 3 matrix one way is kind of do trial and error uh, anyway if, if i let's say start with the one there uh, you go uh, two you put a three and put a four what i need to, to do is uh, we can put a one there and we can put the three there so so this will ensure that uh, this thing that uh, are different right so two is different everything that two has got is different this will ensure that happens and then you can just repeat the first row uh, which is one two one and things things should be fine that obviously uh, this number could be interchanged instead of four i could write one okay so but in, in any case you will require this four digits one two three four to play around with so then a minimum number of different numerals needed to write therefore would be equal to four in a three by three square matrix all right let's look at uh, the second question now the second question asking what is the minimum number uh, required to fill in a five by five square matrix now what will the story change let's look at one two three four five one two three four five that's a third row that's a fourth row and that's the fifth row okay it's about so one one thing which for sure we have to start let's say one two three four is now needed and one of the thing that we could actually do is that we can keep on repeating this uh, value there so you can can kind of repeat this one two three four there'll be no problem we'll leave these two for the time being and we can go ahead and repeat one two three four there and we can repeat one two three four now this will ensure none of these if i take for example two uh, everything adjacent to two is, is going to be different value three four three one three four three one everything is forced to be a different value so you i'm looking at a block of four each to start filling now here we can write we can repeat the sequence we have one two one two let's say if you put one and if i get a three there and if i put a one there if i get a three there there should be no problem now if you look at the last column we can just repeat the sequence so here we suddenly see that we so long as we maintain this sequence one two one two one 
and we can we can again go ahead and repeat one two one two one sequence towards the end and this will uh, ensure that by using this four digit one two three and four we should be able to deal with even a five by five square matrix uh, and this should be enough for any a number of square matrix is what you can think if even if you let's say add uh, one more value there and one more line, line there we just keep on repeating the sequence and uh, it should be fine that's that's what I'm thinking you can do the two four uh, two four two and then you can do three four three four three four and this story will go on and on so long as you maintain this so in this case the minimum number of numeral that is required is is uh, four now let's look at question number three question number three is saying suppose you are allowed to make one mistake you are allowed to make one mistake that is one pair of adjacent cell can have the same numeral so one mistake is allowed what is the minimum number of numerals required to fill a 5 by 5 matrix now we already know that with four digits we can take care of it now if you are allowed to make one mistake how can it be greater than four it doesn't make any sense why would 16 be the answer why would 25 be the answer why would four nine be the answer logically the answer still has to be four and it kind of makes sense as well even if you make one mistake whichever is the mistake that you're going to make let's say i make a mistake with this uh hand right let's say two there and we still need other uh fellows we, because we we have to deal with the block of four uh somewhere so you will require that four uh, numerals uh anyways to deal with uh the the condition that is given right so anyways logically this should be four now let's look at we are again dealing with the five by five matrix here now it says suppose the cells adjacent to any particular cell must have different numerals what is the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill the set so anyone has any cells adjacent to any particular cell must have different num numerals and the problem here would be that if you have one two three four five six seven eight nine the problem here you can understand that let's take this uh, particular value now all this value has to be different all this value has to be different which will therefore mean that we need if i put any value here let's say i put a value one we need a two we need a three we need a four we need a five we need a six we need a seven we need a eight we need a nine we, we are now forced to use nine digits right if, if for example everything adjacent to a particular cell has to be different so i think that we should be able to repeat the sequence and m maintain and manage using this nine let's see quickly see if that is possible so we need a five by five square matrix one two three four five one two three four five that's a second row that's a third row and that's a fourth row and that's a fifth row and we are looking at now a case where there is a nine and we'll have to deal with this uh, particular value so we can let's say that I put the value of the nine and put one two three uh, four five six seven and eight and now uh, we'll deal deal with this particular row, so we we just don't have one two three, so we can probably deal with one two three there and get it done. And now you look at this particular row, uh, we have one two three four five six. We can do a four nine five there and and sort that out. And I think that by simply repeating the sequence, so we we can look at this particular block and now say okay fine, we have two nine seven three five eight, so one four six can be. Uh, uh, put there and we look at this particular row you can say that and, and then this, this kind of works uh, automatically I think that if you take this particular row so we need to have a 614 uh, and the whole thing is about we can keep on repeating this uh, ad nauseum so 14614 14614 the next thing that we will have to ensure that you put a 29729 so you do, do a 29729 and this should work perfectly fine so we need to have those nine uh, different numerals yeah so that's how you solve this particular set not a difficult one but you have to initially spend that uh, time in the beginning try and make little sense of to how the number plays and once you get that logic things should be fine yeah thank you